believes Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Monagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He was, he said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chukumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft-powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. This is one of Chikumbuto's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle, powered entirely by radio waves. This is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikumbuto paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. I'll switch it on so that you can see. I think you can see the battery. It will start to charge itself. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There is no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe by this young Zimbabwean. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. But when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some in the old wires. <laughs> <laughs> now no it's well connected, well connected. Chikumbuzo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 380 newton meters of, meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. President Mnangagwa revealed that he was personally supporting Chikumbuzwa in his endeavors. The 44-year-old high school dropout was initially offered millions of dollars by the United States of America to stay and continue his work in the country, an offer he refused. The president praised Chikumbuzwa's innovation, which include wireless self-powering drones and television sets, among other inventions. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened. it happened. The inventor chronicled how himself and his colleague had been poisoned in the United States of America because their idea was challenging traditional ways of thinking. Chikumozo's colleagues succumbed to the poisoning incident. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy in, thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. So they wanted to arrest him. Changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route. Chikumbuzo says he has partnered a Chinese firm and is working on setting up a plant in Zimbabwe to manufacture and distribute the self powering electric vehicle. For ZTM Prime, I am Satoshi Siwekwaza. Zimbabwe's government has called for 